Hi there. Good, happy Wednesday evening. Who's with us? Hopefully we're live now. Uh-oh, are we live? <laughs> okay, we're live. That's encouraging. Oops, I did not mean to put that up there. Oops. Okay, we're back. Okay, I just want to... I'm getting used to things. I fixed some issues today. Okay, you're live. Yes, we're live. Love to hear I'm alive. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, my God, this is so great. So I'm going to tell you the great thing about, we have five minutes, I always get on early, but I'm going to tell you the great thing about technology. When it works, it's great. When you update something, um, when you update something, um, then all the other stuff you have doesn't work. Does that make sense? Yeah. So today I found out I'm having some focus issues, uh, you know, oh, you know what? It's just, if you build it, they will come. If you build it, like somebody said, I saw your video and it, you had a focus problem. I'm like, listen, I know I'm trying to fix it. Now I have to rewatch the videos I make, which you guys know how I feel about that. So hi guys. I'm going to say hi. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Terry. Hi, Yvonne. How is everybody? People are logging in. I, I know I say 530, but I always try to be here early. And it's dark, so I had to set up lights, and let's see if everything's working. Can you see that? Can you see me? Now, can you see me over here? Okay. Hi, Sherry! I love this. Okay. I love when people discover I'm still alive. <laughs> So we've got a couple of minutes. If you have any questions, hi, Jan. I'm still alive. I'm still here, still kicking. Um, that was, I shared this one today. Oops. Watch, it won't focus. <laughs> oh, I really don't like that now it isn't focusing. So let me, let's see if we can fix it. Whoops. I'm just curious. Give me a second. I'm looking at something to see if, oops. There we go. Let's turn the auto back on. There we go. Well, I'm not too pleased with that. I think I got too much light on it. Okay, well, we'll come back to me. We don't need that anyway today. So, we love, oh, that's so nice. I love you guys, too. I have so much to share tonight, and I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum. You know me. I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum maximum tonight. No. So, how is everybody, and where is everybody located? And how, not everybody does the ch time change. I know Arizona does, but every, it doesn't. But everywhere else, it's just horrific. Um, so I don't know how you guys are doing with this time change. I will tell you, it was, it's a little hard to get on here live. No, it's, and it's pitch black out. <gasps> Thank you, Donna. I don't like when Donna likes it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to, um, I, I'm not a big fan of it myself. I'm going to say it. I think it's, oh, Canada doesn't have a cha time change. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. And and now I come home and it's pitch black. So all of a sudden I was like, do I have lights? Do I have anything? So anyway, Kansas, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I want to get to know where everybody's from. Pennsylvania, yep, you guys do the time change. 
kind of stinks. I would say it's better getting up, but it's just not. I don't need it to be light in the morning. I can deal with it dark. Wisconsin, 730, got an extra hour last Sunday. Yeah, more sleep is good. I agree. I agree more sleep is good. Oh, they don't change their time. The rest of the country does, except for Arizona. Arizona doesn't change their time. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, it's 530. So, Oklahoma. Speaking of Oklahoma, I have to submit something for you. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am Tracy Weinsapple. This is me today. How many balls could we possibly juggle? But anyway, I'm not complaining. It just started at 6 a.m. And, you know, I have a day job and I had to deal with something quite critical there. Um, oh, weird audio. Hold on. Let's try something different. Let's try this. My webcam. Try this audio. Is this audio better? We want to make sure we're up and running. Hi, Donna. Hi, Kim. Let me know if that audio is better and if I need to turn it up. Static. Now, okay. Okay, so now it's okay. We might have a conflict. Good? Testing one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, it's good now. Thank you. It's all I need to hear. <laughs> Give me the hearts. Three thumbs up. Whatever. Okay, good there. So, uh, you know what? I probably did have my papers over the mic. I, I now have notes. This is what happens. Okay. We're good now. So, I, I have so much to say, and I'm just going to, anyway, I'm going to say that my day was full of stuff, and then I had to go to work and deal with something critical that was an HR thing, and if anybody is in HR, the critical things are not always that great. So, um, I dealt, done, came home, and I'm dealing. Like, then, now I do this, and I look so forward to Wednesday nights now. I feel like it's a moment to share. And now, believe it or not, I had this conversation with three artists today who said, oh, no, we had a conference call at 6 a.m. my time. And they all said, oh, I can't do Facebook Live. It's so out there. You're putting yourself so out there. And I went, what am I doing? I'm putting myself so out there. And it's so true. Um, but I'm discovering in this past two months, short time, what I put out there is coming back um, tenfold, like tenfold. I put something out. I say how I'm feeling. I share a piece of art. I, I'm going to move that back. I feel like I'm on top of the camera. Um, I feel like... It's, it's, a, it's a giant leap for artist kind, and it's a big leap for me, and I'm way not talking about what I'm supposed to be talking about, but um, I'm going to tell you what we are going to talk about today. In fact, I should do that, and then I'll get off back on this tangent because it all has to do with this. What I am putting out there is coming back to me through emails and art pages and and art community that I've dreamed of, that I've talked about. Um, uh, so I'm going, what I like to do on Facebook Live is I like to interact with everybody. And the great thing is I can see the comments, but I don't want to miss anything. I'll just tell you what we're going to go over tonight because everybody has been asking, what am I working on? And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the membership group that I've talked about. And we have founders who are part of that. Um, and then, um, I'll give you a few details. I'll give you a few dates that you need to be mindful of. And then I'm going to talk about my journey. So that kind of thing. Um, so, and then I'm going to answer any questions. So if you do have questions, um, my partner in art crime is Donna Clark and she is on there. So she's kind of monitors the questions for me. So if something comes through, and I have to deal with it via email or, you know, whatever. We'll deal with it, okay? 
I don't want to miss you. But sometimes if I'm looking here and looking there and looking there and trying to engage, it's very difficult. And I just want to be me. That's it. Ta -da. Okay. Anyway, so a lot of you have been messaging me about um, the membership group and what I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to be breaking things down. And I've started by, um, we shared video number one uh, yesterday, video number two um, went live and we're just sharing. And as I share, I'm a perfectionist. Nothing is ever good enough. I don't even want to watch the videos. When I have to record something, I would rather, rather record me being me and just talking to you guys than me talking with a teleprompter and not being me. Does that make sense? Um, and so uh, it's very difficult for me to go back and look at. And I had a couple of suggestions. Today, yesterday's video, they were like jam packed with information and everybody loved it, which was great. I know I had a focus issue with my camera that went over my um, workspace Fix that today. That's what I was talking about, technical difficulties. And so um, if you build it, they will come. And I'm expecting perfection, but it's not always going to be there. But I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to comments. Um, I am open to anything um, that you have to say that's constructive. Now, for those of you who choose not to be destruct or constructive and are destructive, well... I'm 49 and I've got a much tougher skin and I realize I can't always please everybody, but I'm going to do my best. I'm always going to do my best. I'm always going to respond. If you have questions, you can always email me. Okay. So the big thing that I've been working on the past few months is called your artful journey because I feel like in my life, that's probably what I could call it. And, um, I don't, I, I can't go into all, I'm not going to go into all the details here. Um, my dream is always to build, has always been to build a community, which I did through Mixed Media Monday. Um, and that was just something I did, I just did to share my love of art. Um, and then I realized, oh my God, there were other people out there like me and um, it's so scary to put yourself out there, but when you do, there are like-minded kindred spirits who share experiences, want to share more, want to learn more, want to um, have a safe community to share your art. I think there's nothing worse than sharing and then having somebody going, hmm. Um, I always tell people, find the good in your piece, find what you like about it and build on that versus looking at it and going, this is what I don't like about it. Um, and I was with my girlfriend on Sunday and we just sat in our art journals, had wine in her backyard. And I always said there's the beginning stage, the middle stage, the ugly stage. I see where it goes stage. And oh my goodness, here it is. Getting through the ugly stage. Oh my God, I love the hearts. And getting through the doubt is just like life. Um, you have good times, bad times, ugly times, good times, bad times, <laughs> ugly times. And that's, um, that's something that has been near and dear to me. Um, did I freeze? Somebody said, I'm guessing we're all frozen. Am I frozen? I look like I'm moving. Okay. Anyway, um, so speaking through my art journal is something that means a lot to me. And, oh good, I'm not frozen. Um, and now it's coming to fruition. I actually see how it's coming back to life, really, from, from a rough spot. And there were so many people who now I'm getting emails on a daily basis. I can't tell you how great it is. Um, I can't tell you how great it is to wake up and find an email that says, oh, I'm going through this, or I went through this, and oh, since I haven't picked up a paintbrush since your last Mixed Media Monday. So um, it, uh, I got an email today, and it was a girl who said, I really just picked up the book based on what you've been saying. 
I've been following what you've been saying. And now I'm looking at the world through a whole nother, um, set of glasses. She goes, I see colors. I see texture. I see this. I see that. And she said, that was a side of me. I haven't been seeing. And I was like, okay, that was an email. I did that. <laughs> I didn't do that, but okay. Hold on. Sorry. So fly in my face. Um, so for those of you who didn't get in, in on the founders thing, uh, we are opening up the membership next Monday and there'll be details on that. And it's only open for, um, a specific, a small amount of time. It's not open for three months, eight months, because what I want to do is open it up and then, um, get into the chunk and heart of things and build that community. That's what I wanted to do. I want it to be a really um, amazing art community. Does that make sense? Oh, I love when Yvonne goes, hello, mom. <laughs> okay, so next Monday and Tuesday, the 11th and the 12th, and I believe it's there, um, Donna can um, uh, let me know. 11.30 or 5.30, 5.30, don't say 11.30, 5.30 my time. Um, there are signups and it's at yourartfuljourney.com slash free class and there's signups. And I noticed some people are asking me, they said I signed up, I didn't get the email to confirm, check your spam folder. We're noticing that's an issue. Um, and Betty just said, I absolutely loved your honest and revealing and encouraging videos and have started journaling again. Okay, that's exactly what I want to hear. So, um, I was telling the artists, I was on a, a conference call this morning with three artists and I was like, you're amazing. You're supportive. You're great. You're this, and you've turned what you're doing into a business. And somebody said, I feel guilty for that. I'm like your business is your art. That's what you are. You're an artist and that is a okay. And so one thing that I thought about when I got back into this is I, this is my business. This is what I love to do. And this is what I love to share, but I didn't want to be customer service, shipping, receiving. I have a, uh, partner now who is Donna and she is just the, um, how do I word it? She, um, She's the behind the scenes coordinator of what is happening, which helps me greatly because I want to concentrate on painting. I never, I don't want to lose sight of that again. I don't want to lose that side of me. So, um, if you didn't get a response, um, Donna is the person and I can give, um, her, um, yeah, there she is. She's giving the link and she can be reached at support at your artful journey.com. You can always go to our new website, yourartfuljourney.com. She is the producer, the producer. And thank you. I needed a word. I was just going to say she's the one who makes it happen, but that's really what a producer does. So if sometimes you think, oh, my goodness, Tracy's doing something that she's uncomfortable with, she is uncomfortable. I feel like I'm leaping off of uh, the side of a cliff and trusting that my vision and I have gone over and over. I've talked to Yvonne about this. I've talked about my vision. I've talked to close friends. Um, I've always said, I'm going to practice what I preach. This is what I preach. And um, this was what I shared today. And I took the quote that Yvonne, we talked about strong women last week. So this is what I'm telling you. When you have an art community, what you put out goes around and it just comes back. And I'm excited for the community. I'm excited to have somebody behind the scenes that is producing and scheduling and we have a schedule and I love that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yvonne said, I'm jumping out of a plane and sewing my parachute on the way down. This is not my first rodeo. I've done this so many times and I'm excited to do it. So I really would love, um, if you guys would sign up these, this is a free class on Monday and Tuesday. It's, I'm teaching the same thing, um, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. It will be recorded. It will be a lim limited playback. I will, we will have, um, um, we will have the membership signups open for a limited time 
just like we did with the founders group and for all the people who messaged me and said, I didn't get in on that group. I'm sorry. That was limited. It was on purpose. And it was, it's the foundation of what we're building upon and what we're building upon is our, I can already see the fruits of it coming around, which I, I, not that I doubt things, but I, I'm nervous. And with membership will come fun things. And, um, oh yeah. So Donna said the classes are the same. So sign up for one, you, unless you want us to see me again, but one is, <laughs> we're going to go over the same stuff. <laughs> I might have new jokes the next day, but no, nothing. So I'm open for questions. I, I will say that I'm going to, um, so there have been questions that have already come to me. Um, and there is a private Facebook group through all of this. Oh, every, I love when people tell me where they're watching from. I love that today somebody said, I have to wake up at 2.30 in the morning to watch you. And I'm like, okay, I'm recording it. I mean, but I love to interact. I think that's a big thing. I think for me, the one thing I said to Donna when I sat down with her, and trust me, we had meeting after meeting, it was, I don't want to lose who I am because it's taken me a long time to get here. Um, I don't want to lose sight of what's important. And that's the art and the freedom to express yourself. Um, I'm not an art therapist, but I will tell you that art has helped me in ways um, that I cannot imagine. Um, I can tell you this morning, I set aside time, which I'm going to talk about, um, for art journaling. I didn't get it because I was working out the issues with the camera which um, I did successfully do for 1995. It's always a fix. Um, but that that um, ate up my morning, and then I had to go right to work to deal with, you know, that fire. And I shouldn't say fire, but. Um, so uh, here are some questions that I'm going to start with, but you are welcome to ask questions right now. We'll answer them. Um, here we go. Uh, somebody said, I want to start art journaling, but I can't, I can't help but compare myself to your amazing stuff. Oh, um, how did you get started and can you teach me? Mm, okay. Uh, uh, don't compare yourself to anybody, A, number one. Um, number two, uh, I've been at this a long time. Uh, I always say to people, and I'm going to give an example. How, I've used this a thousand times. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I'm running a half marathon on Sunday. Not prepared. Because, um, yeah, it's a good idea when you're in the midst of starting a new business that you sign up for a half marathon. Because I'm just going to have 13.1 miles to think about everything I should be doing. <laughs> and I'm not. Um, but you don't start out a professional at anything. It's practice. And the other thing I get asked a lot is I'm, is it okay to copy, copy your artwork? Go for it. Every piece of art in my mind, I'm putting it out there. Every piece of art that you do, um, I think there's a fine line between copying and then selling it to make money. But if you're doing it in a therapeutic safe space and you give props to the person or the artist who inspired you, that's a compliment to me. I, I, somebody wrote yesterday, I'm copying Tracy. And I went, why would I put it out there for you guys to try and not have you mirror it in some way? Maria just said it's 148 in the UK. <laughs> Get some sleep, woman. Okay. Um, so... I want to make sure we break this down into bite-sized pieces that even though you're beginning or you've been with me for a while, we all can learn from it and we can all inspire one another to try something different. I will tell you on Monday morning, I got this brainstorm when I was running because this is what I do in the morning. Check my social media. Run. I, um, I have a lot of time to think, and that's detrimental. Um, I got online when I got home and went into the private group and did a, um, a morning meditation challenge. And that is what I'm going to do more of. 
because um, I feel like we all need a little bit of homework to spark ourselves. And then what happens is uh, I loaded it to YouTube because I thought, why not? Um, and in our group, everybody is sharing. And then I got all these emails of backgrounds and I thought, really? This is all we have to do? This is all we have to do? And Donna just said, Tracy, your outside running endeavors amaze me. Congrats to you. Thank you. Don't be congratulating me yet. <laughs> yeah. And Linda just said, even a seasoned designer teacher will not paint the same design exactly the same way. Never compare yourselves to a teacher. Um, 100%. 100%. Um, I am learning that um, I do have stuff, like, even me as a teacher, I go, oh, why would anybody listen to me? Um, but then I realized I just love to share what I love. I, I don't have any fancy letters after my name, but I will tell you, somebody had a dream about me last night. So if you're familiar with the Society of Decorative Painters, she emailed me and said she had a dream that I, Vicki, that I came up with an accredited program and we, we now have fancy letters after our name. But anyway, I thought that was funny because I was like, oh, my fancy letters would be something funny. So um, for those of you who are just starting, bite-sized pieces, keep it simple. And if you start and you feel comfortable with one technique to begin with, say backgrounds or something, do that. And then I'm going to break things down, even if you can't draw, um, you will not need to know how to draw. That's, don't think about that. Okay. Um, and there are no bad questions. I get emailed stuff all the time. I get, I don't do messenger a ton, but I, I do see it. So I, I, on my automatic messenger response, it says, please email me because I work daily and I can't be at work um, at a construction company with a hard hat and boots going, oh, sorry, somebody just asked me an art question <laughs> while the crane's going by. Okay. Anyway, I think I touched on that. And for those of you who say, I can't paint like you, I'm like, oh, you can. Um, okay. Uh, I have mentioned my morning routine, and I get asked about this uh, a lot. My morning routine, in my mind, uh, I, I sometimes wish a video camera was following me because, um, like I said, today I was juggling. Uh, but I always have kind of things mapped out in my mind. I, um, I, I will, yes, sometimes start at the treadmill, I'm in bed, whatever, I always start with a cup of tea, that's number one, <laughs> that's my number one priority, <laughs> don't talk to me until I had my tea, um, but I will go, okay, I have this amount of time this morning, and now I'm learning to shower at night. I'm learning how to save a boatload of time. Shower at night because this morning I had a conference call at 6 a.m. and it was a video conference call. Nobody wants to see me at 6 a.m. without a shower. So um, I will map out, and it's normally 9 to 9.30 because that's my chunk, and I do 30 minutes. And I will either sit outside if the weather is nice enough. I grab my second cup of tea. It's right before I go to work and I shut everything down. My mind, um, I open the book. Uh, sometimes, like this morning, I opened, this morning was not a good, good example. I did let something get in the way. Uh, but I had started this page the other night. So if I don't fit it in the morning, I will climb into bed. And I will do my 30 minutes um, in bed. Uh, there's everything I've talked about it, in me is everything in me. Everything I do now is pretty portable to my bag. It's right there. It's funny because I feel like sometimes I'm going from my studio to my bedroom. I'm like, oh, off to work I go. Um, so it's a habit. It's like. Time I make for myself. Uh, today I was on the phone with, I was uh, customer ser service, customer support. By the way, any customer service thing that they tell you how important you are, you are not that important that they hired somebody to actually physically answer the phone. So this morning while I was on the phone was when I was drawing the rest of this. So now I have a plan. 
I will get back into bed tonight and with my watercolors fill in and do something else in it. But it's just 30 minutes. Um, so for those of you who I always say are on your phones too much, that's something I really cut out of my life, which is why a lot of people say, oh, you don't always respond. I try, I try, but I, I, I portion that time out. Um, and whether you're a morning person or a night person, you're retired, you're working. I have three jobs, not counting mothering, not counting mothering, three jobs. Um, I find the time to be important. It's for me, and if I don't get it when I, in the morning and I go to work, I, found my, I find myself a little bit wound up. So um, thank you. Terry said that's pretty. And I was on customer service call. It made me feel a lot better. <laughs> so that's what my morning looks like. Uh, another question I'm getting is, would I ever consider hosting an art retreat or teaching again? Uh, uh, Donna just hit on a keyword. Boundaries. I uh, easily say no. No is um, a big part of my life. Uh, no more helium arm. My kids are no, I used to call this helium arm when they go, would somebody volunteer to blow up 875 balloons for tomorrow morning? Would somebody volunteer to cook 17 pounds of bacon for tomorrow morning's breakfast? Okay, I never volunteered for that. I, I got it, but I didn't volunteer. Um, so would you ever consider hosting an art retreat or teaching? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, that is something that there is nothing more important than I love than being face to face. And for those of you who have taken my classes and supported me through the years, uh, yes. In fact, uh, already putting the plan in action and I miss traveling, but I really want to stay local. Okay. Now I'm going to look up and answer any questions. Um, is, and I just want to know if anything is resonating with you or what is resonating with you because, um, I would love to hear the comments. Um, I will tell you another thing that I'm making a concerted effort to do, and you can't please everybody. And yesterday I got caught up in bed. Um, if you notice, I am turning my art into uh, words of motivation, affirmation. Um, that's just not for myself, although it's fun. It's really fun to turn my art into some sort of uh, today I did one with the quote, strong women aren't born, uh, they go through storms. That was a quote that Yvonne said. Um, I'm really, sh I, and then I'm doing like a one minute video. Uh, I don't want to get caught up in the video editing and the technology. And I do one, one minute, I put it on Instagram. Um, there's little tips and tricks. And then there are going to be lessons that are live because I feed off of that. That's my favorite. Um, but every week I want to put something out there. And yesterday I caught up and um, what did I do? I uploaded a, a lot of my videos that I've been doing to YouTube and I updated my YouTube channel, except for don't go look at my intro video. I got to do that. Um, I've updated it. I woke it up. So if you guys could go to my YouTube channel. Uh, maybe Donna could find that and hit the subscribe button. Uh, and of course, I got a comment that said, I don't like fast forward and I don't like one minute videos and you should be sharing like you used to. And I went, OK, I was just catching up last night. And those are just snippets for you to see that I'm really doing what I say I'm doing. Like, I don't start with a blank piece of paper and have a vision of what's going to happen. I try to show it as it's happening and I take my journal with me so I can't always be under a video camera and I don't have a production team that follows me. Although if there's anybody out there who wants to make me a reality show, I got a boatload of stuff for you. <laughs> then you'll really see it. Um, I can do more planning in a shower and on a treadmill than most people can do all day. But anyway, um, 
Linda said, I'm watching now because I love the class I took with you at SDP a few years ago, and I'm so glad you're considering teaching again. Thank you, Linda. And don't worry, I'm not putting any fancy letters um, after my name. I'm going to say one thing, too. If you've been to my Facebook page, um, something monumental happened. I lost, um, I'm not going to cry. It's 6 o'clock. I lost a mentor of mine um, who is from, uh, she is a legend. She is a lady. She is a teacher. She was a no-nonsense um, person in my life that accepted me for myself my art, and she was no spring chicken. She passed away this week, uh, this past weekend at 87 years old, and if anybody knows um, Doxy Keller, you can look her up, look her up in the painting community. So um, her funeral was today, and I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but I wouldn't mention it, but um, a lot of what I do and a lot of why I'm, um, more wide awake is because of who she was and what she shared. And if you've ever taken a class with somebody who her designs were very intricate and she said, you can do it. You can do it. Um, she was also a person who I was young, vivacious, and I walked into something I didn't even know what I was walking into. And she said, stick with me, kid and walked me around and people accepted me um people accepted me where i don't think they would have otherwise so if you ever have a mentor in your life the other thing is i got to call her a friend uh there was one year i was teaching and as i've mentioned um as i mentioned um i was going through a rough time but i was all smiles in front of everybody i taught and who i love i i didn't skip a beat but I walked in the back and Doxy looked at me with one look and said, okay, kid, what's happening? And um, knew she was the one person who I let in and she gave me parts of her life that were rough. And so if, if, the, if there's ever a mentor in your life, uh, she was one. And for those who knew her far better than I did, um, but if you go to my Tracy Winesapple Studios page, I shared an article that I had written two years ago and um, she is another reason why I am awake and sharing what I love. And for those who like it, great. For those who I'm not their cup of tea, I get it. <laughs> I can't please everybody. So I was mentioning if you could go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think when you're an artist, you have a hard time saying, go do this, go do that, go do that. But I just want it to be an open space for us all to share and you guys to go to and have resources. And um, then there's going to be a lot more live resources where I paint again. And if you've ever seen somebody paint, you know, I, I got a whole new video set up. Um, no more autofocus issues. I fixed that this morning. Um, we'll fix it as we go. And it's not going to be perfect. Um, okay. So somebody just wrote, who knows me? Yes, they would have. You have the talent. Doxy gave you the heart to give you the strength you didn't know you had. So, and I'm telling you, that woman was like all of five foot two, and she told me, handed it to me. <laughs> yeah, um, Kim, thank you. I said today at my hard thing I had to do at work, 49-year-old Tracy is different than 23-year-old Tracy. So, um uh, it's great being, it's great learning. It's really great learning. And it's great learning from really strong women. And Doxy was one of them. So I won't linger on that. But for those who went to her funeral today, uh, I was thinking about it all day. Uh, I happened to have two of her shirts. And if I could have walked in without my company shirt on, I would have walked in with that. But I couldn't. I had to look official today. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> so the big important thing that I'm going to reiterate is to sign up for the free classes next week. And yes, we're going to paint something. 
And yes, I'm going to share techniques. And yes, we're going to talk. This book is dedicated. I already have, well, see, I already shared this. This was the background from this week. Um, oh, sneak peek. Um, I already have a plan. And uh, I have plans. Well, I don't have plans. Donna has helped me map out things because my producer <laughs> makes that possible for me. The good news is, is now I don't have to fly by the seat of my shorts as much. <laughs> Diana just said I haven't painted in a while. And I, when I finally got into it, my deco art uh, media fluid acrylics uh, thickened up. Contact deco art. Uh, probably shouldn't do it. They probably need a good shaking. There are, they are water-based, so don't hesitate. If, if all else fails, um, I've tossed water into them. Just they might become a little more fluid. But, um, or go pick up a cheap set of watercolors. Yeah. Okay. And I, I do uh, want to encourage you to visit my Facebook page. I'm doing more unscheduled things, you know, just popping on. And sometimes I always, I, I go, oh. Uh, I realized, oh, there was only five people there. And then the replay happens, and I'm recording everything, and I'm putting it all to YouTube. Um, and I'm loving the comments. It's almost like my YouTube channel woke up. And somebody said to me today, please don't delete all your old stuff. Okay. Just don't expect me to look at it. <laughs> yeah. Um... And if I missed any questions, uh, please, 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 you can email me. Um, I just, I will type in my email, but I can, I love the um, info at Tracy Weinzapple Studios. Um, when it comes to the support stuff, Donna answers, I don't know if that came through. Donna, okay. Oh Donna is support at your artful I email it every five minutes. Um, okay, here we go. Is there one brush that's universal when starting with watercolors? Uh, yeah, around. Um, I'm a dynasty brush gal. Literally, I'm an artist for them. Uh, I like their silver, black silver line. What is this? This is black silver. I like their black silver line. And I'm now in love with their faux, sa faux, faux, F-A-U-X, sable. And I would tell you that the two things I could not live with in my life are deodorant. No. Um, like a, this is a number six round brush and a liner brush. Um, this is an eight round brush. It's a little big. That's a six. And this is the faux sable. They just the uh, they just sent these to me, and I'm in love. I I'm in mad love. But I love their black silver line. Um, but if you're talking about sizes six eight round, I do like a small like this is a flat brush and liner liner liner. I also do have these. Good. Okay. Good. I've added small ball bearings and I wonder if they, okay. Oh, somebody just said they added small ball bearings to their acrylics to give them life again. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I, you know, I've had some things that have just sat for a while. Uh, by the way, the stuff dries up. Uh, it's a good reason to keep painting <laughs> so it doesn't dry up and you use it. And for those of you who have a studio full of stuff and you just haven't done it or felt inspired to do it, I'm asking you to just drag out a few basic things. I am all about the keep it simple. I think we've gotten so to the point where it's, um, oh good, you needed the brush to figure out the brush sizes. Six, eight round, small flat, I do a larger flat, um, a liner brush, there's nothing better than a good liner brush. And liner brushes are something you want to play with um, because you want to get used to them. But if you're not comfortable with the liner brush, Sharpie, 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 Sharpie. Okay? <laughs> but uh, 
you can grab a basic notebook, uh, you can grab a basic ballpoint pen, and some basic watercolors, and there you go. You're back in action. So don't let a limited supply stop you. Let's go back to the basics. And the most important thing I will tell you is to go watch video one and two. Three is coming up. Hello, Janet. What's a liner brush? Great question. A liner brush. Oh, a liner brush. Here's one. This one's way out of whack. Okay. Yes, I do like my, this one's got to be thrown away. A liner brush is, can you see that? You know what? I could aim the other camera down. Let's pick this up and do this. Okay. Okay. This is a liner brush. It's really thin. I'm looking for another one. Good question. But this is another liner brush. It's got a shorter, and I have ones that are longer. There's another liner brush. And they'll, they'll, like this is, this is really a two round, but do you see, whoops, I'm going to go down here. Very thin. This one needs to be thrown away because it's just seen its better day. Here's one right here. This is a great one. It's very small. Take care of those. Always wash them off. That's a liner brush. Don't you like my new two camera system? <laughs> so great question. Is there anything else that's stopping you? Because I would like to know. Patty said, I have great intentions of tuning in, but I have to watch the replay. Great. <laughs> I don't know if I was fabulous, Patty, but I would say I was okay. <laughs> okay, good. Does that answer that? And there's obviously a variety of them. There's a really long liner brush. Those are the things I'm going to touch on when we get moving here. See, this is a really long one, and it really depends on what you like as far as, see how long that is? I don't, I'm not as comfortable with the long one, but I can use it. Um, and these are all skills that you hone over time. So, and when I say liner work, I was showing somebody, in fact, I, I should, I mean, obviously there's not a line, but this is just dots. I mean, hello. There wasn't a lot of liner work. There was more liner work in this. Do you see that? That's gonna what's gonna give you those. Um... Okay, here's a great one, and I will switch back to me. Um, Donna said, "Inspiration stops me." So, in that video or in that email I got today that said, now somebody is looking at. Um, I had a friend, too, who said she took a 30-minute lunch outside because I get lunch, but I walk a mile lunch. That's my that's my thing. I got to move. <clears throat> and the guys with me walk at lunch. So now I can't stop doing it because I challenged all their butts to get out there. Um, uh, this The lady who said how I see the world now through my art journaling is looking for inspiration and finding what inspires you. Last week we had somebody who said hearts. She has a lot of hearts. So she's been really delving and looking things up like that. Um, Kim, I'm going to come back to that question. So finding inspiration. I would say I'm trying to post as much as I can on a daily basis of things I'm working on. So if you can find one element or one thing that you can pull out to get started, I hope that's something you'll bring up to me. If you want to copy what I'm doing, no offense taken. I'm flattered. FYI. It's great. Um, or if you go to my YouTube channels, I just spend a ton of time uploading videos. And part of the membership is going to be me prompting you with challenges and inspiration that is important to me and i have a whole list of stuff i plan on sharing books i've read uh, books i've collected over time um places that i go to myself for inspiration so that's important okay do you use the dot br the brush and to do the dots 
Okay, did you see my video today? Here's what I did the dots with. See the white on the, whoops, the other end of your paintbrush. Um, and then there are tips and tricks. Oh, shoot, I moved it. And then I'm going to end for the day. I'll share things like this. That's a dot maker. So is this. And by the way, new dip every dot. Nope. Dip dot 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 dip dot 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 dot. Go check out today's video. I, I, I actually did a close up of me and I slowed it down. Dip dot 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 dot. The other end. So think about what you have around you that inspires you, like shapes. Uh, the uh, Today I was looking at a cup at work and I was like, oh, I could flip that over and make circles. And so that's something that's in my brain. Okay, will you talk about collage at all? Yes, I will. I'm also going to talk about mono printing because I work for a company, um, Jelly Arts, that does that mono printing for backgrounds. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Got it? <laughs> okay. Any more questions? The big important thing would be to keep joining me on Wednesdays because I try to share everything. A toothpick, great. Somebody says is a dot. Um, yeah, uh, those, believe it or not, I know that one minute video, somebody said she didn't like it. Uh, I get it. Um, and, um, it's not for everybody, but if there's one thing you can pull out of it, like looking at me making the dots, um, Yvonne one time said to me, I was so happy cause I don't always have a video camera with me that I'm overhead and I can't be at a winery with a, um, I liked, I take pictures as I go along so you can see the progress and it went where. And Yvonne even said last week, oh, I didn't realize you used a Sharpie to fill that in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Betty just said, I wish you could hear me screaming. Is that good screaming or bad screaming? <laughs> and every time we meet on Wednesdays or live or part of the group, what I want you to do is walk away with one thing that inspires you to try it one one snippet one little thing maybe you heard today um and if you don't mind if you heard one thing and want to go to um tracy wines apple studios underneath this or whatever tell me what that one thing was that just resonated with you because that's the stuff i find to be important hopefully i hit on any of the questions if i missed i didn't check my phone and normally donna will text me if i miss something um, great. I, I don't think I did. So if there's anything I missed or, um, I also would love if you would share with any of your friends who you think this would be helpful because I have a complete sex success path mapped out. It doesn't have to be your friends who are the established artists. It could be your friend who looks at what you do and goes, I want to try that. That's, that's really what I want to do. I keep saying I want to build an art community and that's what I want to do because what goes around comes around. <laughs> the dots and the Sharpie background gave me ideas. That's it. Diana has inspiration. Okay. So I will leave you with that. I will tell you I want to thank you. I hope to see you at my classes next week because now I'm excited to share and do what I do best. Not this. This. <laughs> okay. I'm going to close out tonight, and I thank you guys so much. I will see you next Wednesday. But I will see you probably Monday and Tuesday. And please, uh, if you could share the link with people, I would be ever so grateful. I'm putting everything on Tracy Wines Apple Studios. People um, who follow me personally, I'm trying to keep my personal page personal. Um, 
sharing my kids and whatnot. And if there's anything you want to see or you want to send me a quote and you want to see that quote worked into an art piece, I will do that too. I will do that too. Okay, thank you so much. And I will see you all soon. And this will be on YouTube. So I will talk to you soon. Good night.